Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing workflow here. So basically first I'll show you what it can do and then I'll start explaining what is going on behind the scenes. You just need to upload one subject, one background and select a switch here whether you want to flip the subject or not. And the subject will be mapped and masked around and mapped uh, onto the background, right? So the reason I flipped here because the sun is on the right side. You just need to do this. And this is automatic, by the way, you don't need, you just need to upload two images. That's it. And the final product is going to be this. This will be our output. We have not written a single text prompt. So the output is completely dependent on what kind of background and subject we are providing. That becomes our only prompt. So this is very good when we have some kind of an environment or setting in mind, but we don't know how to prompt or we want to generate like different uh, uh, outputs and see which one is the best. So now let's get started. Firstly, I'll just mention because in all my videos I have given uh, provided how we can like uh, upload uh, load the models. But then again, I'll explain it here as well. Anything which you see in red, basically I have color coded. That is something you need to download yourself. So you need to and every link will be in the description. So don't worry about it. You need to download a unit model and this goes to the comfy UIs. Uh, if you go to comfy UIs folder, there is a models folder and there would be a unit folder. Put this in the unit folder. You see these two clips. So clip L and T5 version one double XL encoder. You will find this and you have to put it in the models uh, clip folder. Same goes for VA A dot safe tensors. You can find the links in the description. You have to put it in the models VAE folder. That's all you need to do. Now, firstly, I'll also provide this workflow. So when you uh, import load the workflow from here, you'll see some of the nodes are red and uh, it throws an error. Just go to uh, manager here. Click on install missing custom nodes. You'll find a list of the nodes that are missing. I don't have any. You just install them and restart. That's it. And you will have everything like me. Now, one thing is extra. In these nodes, you will have image apply LUT this one, right? So LUT LUT is something which uh, if you are familiar with video productions or color grading, you would know that uh, it is used for color grading. So I am using one of these to slightly color grade the outputs. So I have provided a note here. This is going to be the uh, location. You'll also have a link in the description where I have provided free LUTs. So that is not my website, but uh, I have found this website to be very useful. They have amazing LUTs there. So download them and you can put it uh, in this particular location. And then you'll have all of these here and you can select any one of them, right? So this is, uh, this is for the final image output and, uh, now I'll just generate one image and then I'll walk through what the process is. So our generation is done and this is the image we have generated. It looks pretty good, pretty coherent. Now I'll walk you through with what actually happened. What was the whole process? So uh, as I have told you, all the red ones, the red nodes are basically something which you have to download links in description don't worry about it the blue nodes which you see anywhere are the nodes where you can change something which will like uh, either improve or like there is some kind of creative element to it you can change something there so i'll walk you through it you just need to upload two images a subject and a background the background will be scaled so no matter if you are uploading a very big image and uh, it will be scaled also in the switch here, uh, this is one of the switch where you can like uh, mute the whole face enhancer. So if you don't need the face enhancer, just you can uh, mute it. I'll keep it on. Here is the image flipper. So basically you can see anything, any subject will start from the left. 
naturally and uh, we can see that the sun is in the middle so uh, it makes more sense that she is looking towards the sun because the lighting is from this side and in the original image the lighting is from this side don't worry you can use any image because these faces will not be recreated we are going to like change it so much denoise it so much this is just for reference so one is if you want to flip and two is if you don't want to flip so we are flipping in this particular image and with this here is the image composite in composite you can see there are x y offset x offset y you can actually move around the subject uh, with respect to the background if you want to place it more to the right that is something you can do here you can see these are download and load uh, florence models so these will be directly downloaded if you don't have them and if you have them it will directly load like no download is needed so you don't need to do anything it generates a text here directly it does everything and this is the image that we get initially you can see the difference here so you see there is this heap there is this another heap you'll have the essence of the image but the uh, composition will be there but the image will be uh, completely created like this is not magical like photoshop that it will copy paste uh, so the subject on it and you'll see the same subject we are just prompting using two different images denoising now one thing is that you'll never have one fixed value for all images you'll need to change these according slightly according to uh, the images that you are uploading but i'll uh, like inform you what you need to do denoising i think you are pretty familiar with if you reduce the denoising it will be more similar to the original composite image but remember the original composite looks like a cutout so we need denoising in width and height you don't need to do anything in max shift and base shift remember one thing if you want the subject to be more like uh, combined with the background and what i mean by co uh, combined is that if you think that the lighting is very different for the background and the uh, foreground you can increase the max shift and you will see that either the subject is starting to turn or the lighting is becoming more interactive with the subject that is max shift it increases the creativity with which the flux can work but the problem is when you increase creativity it starts introducing artifacts so here you can see that uh, the eyes are slightly messed up and we do not want that so when you increase the base shift base shift will stabilize the sub uh, image more and more but then again uh, you will not have that much creativity so uh, this is something either you can spend a lot of time uh, balancing these two or you can uh, get something which is like uh, according to your satisfaction and like you see the eyes here are messed up i'll just enable the face detailer the face detailer is same as my previous video it takes the image again there is this florence model here uh, i am using a different uh, florence one actually you can uh, use the sd3 one same but i am using like uh, florence to base and with that you can see it directly detects the face and it masks it so after the masking you can see the image that we create here the eyes are messed up the face looks more clear so this is something which can fix your face and then here is uh, where you can apply the color grading i have provided the uh, location here you can download any lerts from anywhere although i'll provide uh, one link where i have got uh, pretty good lerts there and you can uh, upload those uh, you can put those images in this folder you can put those files sorry and uh, then you will have all of these options you can select any one increase or decrease the strength as you like and you can see there is a difference between this image and this one so for this desert kind of theme i liked this color grading so i kept it and uh, for night scenes or something like that you can change the color grading as well this is the final image so that was it and if you have any kind of doubt you can put it in the comment section and i'll try to uh, suggest what kind of uh, solutions we have thank you